Hey, what's up everybody? Did you know that 96,000 people move to Las Vegas every single year? The question is why? Well, due to the Fed's interest rate hikes have increased the cost of living for many Americans across the country. Americans are now looking to relocate to Las Vegas because of no state income tax, low unemployment, low cost of living, and affordability for housing. We're also the entertainment capital of the world. So if you are thinking about relocating to Las Vegas, we would like to offer you a free Southern Nevada market report and a relocation guide. All you have to do is click on that link below to claim yours today. All right guys, so today I got something very special with you. We have a very special guest, and this is actually her listing. Her name is Kristen. And Kristen, let's talk about this home, this community, sure. this area, and the location. Wonderful. So the community is called Vintage Valley, okay. and the address here is 30 Greenside. Uh, what's wonderful about this particular community is that it is a, uh, it's a small custom enclave inside of the highly exclusive Southern Highlands. One of my favorite features is the fact that it is so close to the airport and to the Las Vegas Strip. Okay, so we are located on the south side of the Las Vegas Valley, yes. just west of the 15, correct? Yes, that is correct. So from here to Harry Reid International, we're probably what, like 15, 20 minutes? 20 minutes maximum. Okay, yeah. now let's talk about this uh, community really quickly. When I came in, it was a guard gated community. Yes. I've noticed that uh, you gotta go through another yes. gate as well. Correct. This particular community is sidewalks on both both sides. There is a community park, there's gates. Um, the neighborhood is very active with a variety of lifestyles and owners. Um, I, during the holidays, it is bustling with lights, when with trick-or-treaters, um, but it is a very vibrant community. Let's talk about square footage, bedrooms, and bathrooms. Sure. It is over 9,200 square feet. Okay. Seven bedrooms, seven bathrooms. And there's a couple of flex spaces that can be anything that you want as well. The thing that stands out to mm -hmm. me beyond others in this particular community is even the styling of the stucco. You have a smooth stucco finish and then some stonework on the outside, kind of giving a little bit more of a Tudor style in the desert, but it's a modern feel. You actually beat me to that because I was going to ask yeah. you and I was going to test you. What style is this? And the yes. first thing that came to my mind was Tudor. Yes. But it does have a little bit modern to some, some of the things, right? Absolutely. The okay. owners have done a great job editing and designing this home mm -hmm. to be timeless. Um, it's not uh, on the cutting edge of some hot trends. It is timeless features. Okay. The quality of the material that they have chosen will stand the test of time. Okay. The peaks and the eaves are amazing. Oh, can we go inside? Let's do this. Before we go okay. inside though, if you uh, look over here to the right. Okay. This is a fun feature. It is a pull through. So not only can guests come through this way, but um, they can park this way and go down a side street as well. Oh. So lots of little. You know what? Know. That makes sense because you don't want to just drive and pull in, right. then you got to reverse. Sure. You can literally just drive all yes. around. Yes. That's actually a really I great know. concept. It is very nice. Okay. But this garage is not attached to the home. No, not at all. Okay. But I love how they have connected with the design elements of um, just connecting the house so it's, it doesn't seem like it is remote by any means. Okay. So can we go inside and Let's take a go look? Let's go inside. Okay. Yeah. So do you know who the uh, designer was and the builder on here? I do not. Okay. No. Now my clients, when my clients purchased this home, um, there were two other owners previously, but they chose to come in and make additions and deletions here to fit their lifestyle. So when was this home actually built? 2008. 2008. And mm -hmm. they bought this, what, about three years ago? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And they did some upgrades to the home. Absolutely. Okay. So where we are looking into now, the okay. formal um, dining space, they're using it as a music space. There was a rock wall here. Okay. I mean, very indicative of the time, but they removed this wall completely to open up and have this open floor plan. Okay. A couple of things I already noticed is the flooring. This is probably uh, travertine, correct? It is. And it is. Uh, this is the weave pattern, which is very nice and it is actually timeless. Okay. Also, one thing I've noticed, as soon as I come in, everything is open. Yes. We have some beautiful sliders here. Mm -hmm. And it's very inviting to the backyard. First thing I've noticed is we're bringing the outside yeah. inside the house. We and can, I love a lot of light. We can live outdoors you know, yeah. 10 months out of the year here in Las Vegas. You yeah. know that. And it's very important to be able to not only maximize the indoor space, but the outdoor space. But no, it's wonderful. Okay. All right, let's go take a look. Show me out what else we got here. Show, me, all, show me everything, everything, all the bells and everything. whistles. Excellent. Well, 
You can't miss, and we okay. were talking about the flooring earlier. Yeah. The same flooring carries outside. So the oh, flow wow. is just seamless. There's no gaps, there's no change in material. Okay. And that's one thing throughout the house, the materials are consistent. It's not piecemealed together. They also took down a wall that was here okay. that was obstructing views, opened this up completely. You can see here that the kitchen center island can host a variety of people um, for casual dining and also entertaining. Okay. They have, I know it's kind of fun. Um, you've heard about the pebble ice. Mm -hmm. It's a fun feature to talk about because they do have a specialty ice machine here below. Okay. Dual dishwashers, a fantastic Fisher and Pekel um, oven and range. And um, who doesn't like storage? And if you can tell, this home is very warm and inviting, but it's set up just perfectly entertaining. Okay. We have a refrigerator and freezer over there, an additional refrigerator and freezer over here. Wow. Never short of beverages. Okay. I know. I, I seen the refrigerator yeah. over there yeah. hidden, but this actually just looks like a cabinet. But let me just peek just to make sure it's a refrigerator. Oh, this is actually a refrigerator. Interesting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> look, look how clean this is, guys. I love this. I know. I yeah. literally thought it was just extra cabinet storage. I know, and that yeah. was the point. I mean, yeah. when the designer, um, when they worked together, they wanted to make sure that it looked mm -hmm. like a furniture piece instead of um, an industrial piece. Okay. So, great. So let's talk about this. Is this the main living area? Or? So this is the main family uh, living area. You can see, you can watch multiple uh, sporting events, movies, um, news programs at three different ways. Uh, it does have built-in surround sound. So it looks like these are all the original doors and windows, correct? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, they have been finished out in a wood trim. You can see that that is a little bit different here in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. um, most builders have a either a white or a black, but this is in true wood and trimmed out. One of the things about the windows that I love, mm -hmm. crank out. So if you have clients or people that are accustomed to opening up windows in the um, spring or the fall, um, you crank open the windows and let that fresh air in. So it's over here on this side here. Sure. So walking over here, this is your formal living and dining space. Okay. Um, you can host large dinner parties here. It can accommodate large pieces of furniture. But what's great is that these doors all open to the back, back of the house. Now, one thing I've noticed is, or maybe you'll notice, when these doors were closed, you couldn't hear nothing. It was very quiet. As soon as she opens it up, you've got these water features. And the first thing I feel, serenity. That's right. Did I say that word correctly, Rudy? Serenity? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this house functions, it could be a single story. Okay. We have um, the primary bedroom. So, so technically yeah. it is a single story, but right? Has, Full function. Correct, okay. for function. You could live and uh, dine and sleep on the first floor. There is two bedrooms on the first okay. floor, a primary suite and a junior suite. There is a, an office, an executive office, that if you wanted to convert it to a bedroom, you absolutely could because okay. it does have a closet. Can we go back to the yeah. uh, office real yeah. quick here? So the office is just off of the entrance. So if okay. you are meeting guests, if you're meeting clients, it's right off the front. Um, okay. The ceiling has beautiful wood detail. Ooh, look at this coffered yeah. ceiling, yeah. Rudy. This wonderful. Yes. All the furniture does stay with the home just because it does fill uh, fill the space and it completes okay. the space. And it does have its own walk-in walk-in closet as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this could be a room if you choose to, but I think yeah. I'm going to leave this as the office and all the woodwork. Like, why would you destroy this, right? Mm -hmm. This is t a timepiece. This is a piece of work of art, basically. Sure. Absolutely. I'm closing. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece. Okay. And as we stand here, I yeah. want you to take a... Take a look at this grand staircase. Yes. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, you can imagine decorating for the holidays, maybe coming down for a special event, um, but this is just a beautiful piece of artwork as well. I mean, real, real craftsmen put this together. They did a really good job on this. And what, what is this room right here? So it's a little gem. It is actually a wine storage. Okay. Um, there is a cooling element in here. My clients don't use it as a, as a wine closet, but it absolutely can. Okay. And I will say that this um, iron door is the same material and same finish as the custom doors as well. And then as we go around the corner here, immediately to our left is the primary suite. Across okay. the hall is a powder, okay. so your guests don't have to go too far. So I love you have your own private entry here. This is just nice, it's mm -hmm. kind of tucked away. I mean, I think of this as like an elevated hotel suite yeah. because it is a large um, sleeping area. But then to behind you, Rudy, there is a, an office or a sitting area with its own little beverage station as well. Um, they've upgraded the flooring that you see uh, upon move in. They had the house repainted. Um, and this is one of my favorite okay. features, so hang tight for this. Show there's, me. there's directions. Okay. 
I've always seen the ones from the ground. Sure. Never yeah. one from the ceiling. They did work with their um, technological person to specifically design something. And there was a harness involved and the mechanics so that it could recess and be gone. They didn't want any more pieces of furniture. Um, so this is truly custom for this particular house. It, 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 I didn't even mention the, yeah. the finish on the walls. Yeah. Um, in m many homes here in the valley, it, it's an orange peel yeah. type of builder. Um, and that is not what's happened here. It is a smooth finish, which takes time and um, it, again, artists who do this. So okay. it's very, very beautiful. A smooth texture, almost a um, old world style. We do have separate vanities, um, okay. uh, a dual scenario here. So this would be hers <laughs> and that would be possibly, his. Possibly, possibly. Okay. Um, the tub itself is jetted, okay. but I do like the fact that it, again, it's very private. Mm -hmm. The windows can open up in case you wanted to let that natural air okay. um, air through. And I, I mean, this is a fun feature. Okay. Let's say you're, you're in the tub and you need to rinse off. This is actually a detachable shower nice. to rinse off in case um, for added, added bonus. Okay. The walk-in shower is great. I get the question all the time, is this a steam shower? Okay. It is not a steam shower per se, but it does, it is very, it gets very steamy in there okay. because there is no gap at the top. It does retain um, the moisture in there. So it does act as a steam shower without having the electronic components of being a steam shower. Okay. So there's no shortage of storage in here and for shoes, for hats, for purses, for gowns, for suits. Um, but I mean, my whole family could probably fit in here. Well, I can tell you what, uh, this is a closet for me and whoever lives here is very organized. Right? Neat and tidy. <laughs> Neat and tidy. And again, not shy of any storage. We okay. have more uh, so we have storage here. closet here. Okay. Yep. And this is coming into our second suite downstairs. This room is exceptionally big as well, accommodating a large um, king size bed, a sitting area, and big pieces of furniture. But here's what I mentioned yeah, earlier. I like that. Yeah, here we go. You have access to the outdoors. So let's say you have some friends in town. Mm -hmm. uh, they come in either really early, really late, however you want to take that. They can pull their car or have someone drop them off and they can access the home without even having to bother the rest of the home. That makes sense. Yeah. Come right here, pull in. That's right. Very quiet, that door is shut. Mm -hmm. And I love these locks because you just, oh, is this the one that you pull up? Yep. You lock it, boom, like this. For some fair reason, I always have trouble with like doors. I don't know why. <laughs> you know like these bathrooms and these guest suites are a little bit smaller, but look how large this one is. As you can see, extra storage, okay? The original tub here in great condition, really well maintained. You've got cladding here too as well. Again, we have a two inch bull nose and we have a nice sink. This is a cast iron sink with a white glaze. Did a really good job on that. A lot of tradition in this home. So basically we already explored the east wing of the house. We haven't even gone through the west wing of the house. Can we go take a look at that? Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, we will pass through just a small little butler prepare okay. area. Um, this could be a whole variety of things for folks, but this is also a nice touch. Again, more storage. Okay, storage here. And who doesn't like storage under the stairs? Mm -hmm. That's always fun. And then typically as agents, we don't sell laundry rooms, but this is a fantastic laundry yes, room. Yes, I think this is a laundry room that we would actually sell. I think a home at this, you know what? It just so baffles me. Some of these homes, right, at this score footage only has one washer and dryer. This totally makes sense. Of course. Between, um, you know, if you have pool towels, yeah. if you have people staying with you, you could even say, hey, you know what, use your first two, my family will use the second two. Even if this is a maybe a dual family scenario, mm -hmm. scenario perfect. And another thing I do like, I just noticed, we have access to the pool this way. So think about this, guys. If you're all wet, this is kind of like your wet room, you know, this is where you take off your clothes. So right here, yep. wash your dryer, boom. Yep. If you're doing yard work, um, this is also a fun little spot for the dogs to okay. come in and out and to maintain them as well. Okay. And around this corner um, is, we call this the utility room. Okay. Um, different parts of the country might use it for different things. It could be an auxiliary office. It could be a craft space. It could be just an extra storage. Um, again, another refrigerator. Again, never short of beverages, um, but in a nice little, I've seen some people use this as a gift wrapping station, but another little This cubby. is a nice feature to have. I really do like this. Great concept on this. Also, I noticed uh, you have stairs taking you back up to the second floor too as well, so that's a plus. Yes, we have two sets of stairs. Okay. So we showed the first grand one coming in, mm -hmm. and this is kind of the back of the house mm -hmm. staircase. Okay, in custom homes, a lot of people put the um, 
central vacuum system. Yes. My clients, when they purchased the home, had it and don't want to use it. Yes. So they eliminated it except for in the garage so that you can clean out your car. That actually makes sense because I feel like those central vacs does not really work throughout right. the house because of the pressure. Sure. Okay. So this is perfect. Need now, to vacuum out the car. can I say something? If one of our viewers actually buys this home, can you please negotiate this? Because I want this. <laughs> I think, like, honestly, this whole house right now, who has this in their house? This is so cool. I really want this. Is that conveyed with the house? It can at the right price. Okay, with the right yeah. price. Also, um, if I buy a home in here, mm -hmm. do I get like some sort of membership or a discount with the it's, golf course? It's a secondary. It, you would have to purchase that okay. separately. Okay, yeah. got it. Now, here's the whole brains of the home. Now, guys, understand this rack alone is probably about $150,000. Like, you guys don't know how expensive this thing is, Okay. That's the reason why I wanted to show this. Now, you can do a couple things with this. You can do your audio, you can do your video, right? You can literally program everything from your phone. This is literally the brains of everything. You can control one room, you can control all the rooms. Like, it gets very sophisticated with this thing right here. Let's say that you're out of town yeah. and you're on your way home. You immediately lock into the programs here at the house, mm -hmm. get your air set, get um, the lights turned on, so that when you come home, it, it feels like it's already prepared for you and you haven't been gone, you haven't missed a step. Are you starting to see more of these luxury homes starting to integrate like the smart home yes. system? Absolutely. And how important is that going to be from here on out? Well, you, as, as we know that technology is not slowing down at all. Yeah. And as a homeowner, this, there's benefits to um, energy saving costs. There is um, just the sheer convenience of having your home prepared. Okay. And this sets homes apart hands over fist. All I'm right. highly impressed with your, your knowledge. That's very good. Yes, custom carpet uh, at this level of a home is expected. And also, it's, it's the creature comforts yeah. of living like this. So where are we at right here? Because this is kind of like the fun room for me. Sure, this is the game room. Okay. Um, watch another event up to here. Pl catch a game of pool, make some bets, settle some bets. Um, again, it mimics the same um, skyline or ceiling line that's downstairs in the family room with the beams. And again, open up the doors to view outside. One thing I've noticed, the back, the deck is very large, mm -hmm. okay? And another thing I've noticed is that, let's talk about this mountain view. Is anything sure. going to be built back here or is this going to be your permanent view you're aware of? So just on the other side of that block wall, that's actually a personal residence. The yeah. person's home finishes over there, but they own that particular piece of land. You and I both know, who knows what their future plans are, but their house is already completed over here to the right side. Beyond this, the chain link fence, that is um, Bureau of Land Management. Okay. Yep. And what's great about this is that it's private, right? So there's no neighbors behind you. And the way that we're sitting out here on this balcony, yeah. we can have private conversations. We can have all the people out here without having the kind of nuances of people trying to look in your yard. Yeah, that, that's one private. thing I've noticed is like typically you have like more of a, a square um, lot. But this one kind of like bends out just a little bit. Just a little bit. So it literally pushes your uh, neighbors out. Mm -hmm. So you're getting pretty much your whole backyard mm -hmm. full visibility. Yes. And they can't see inside. This no. is perfect. No. Like this, this is, is literally mm -hmm. privacy, unless somebody's over there on the mountainside. Sure. Sure. No, not at all. And it's and it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, the mountains behind you. I mean, people come to see Vegas, right? The yeah. Vegas lights. But our mountain and our natural landscape is just as beautiful. Okay. So uh, this home has seven bedrooms. We saw two downstairs. Okay. And the remaining five are up here. Oh wow. This one right here is currently being used as a like a gym space, but it has its own bathroom attached. I like this. So it's pretty much all the same materials. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do have the closet here. Now the bedroom here, guys, honestly, it's, it's not that large. So I'd probably just leave this as a gym. But remember, you have so many other bedrooms, right? But yeah, I definitely would probably leave this as a gym. I do like how it's set up right here. And one of the things that was important to these particular owners, and I think and many homeowners, is the number of bathrooms that are available to bedrooms. Yes. So what you'll see as we see the remainder of the bedrooms, all the bathrooms that are attached. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we've got two directions. Where are we heading off? Let's head to the right. Okay. Yep. We have a bathroom here that services a bedroom. Okay. And any other guests in the hallway. Okay. So this bedroom is for this bathroom. Yes. This has its own suite and we have a suite or is yes. it a Jack and Jill? It, yes, it's a shared bathroom for two bedrooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I want to um, come in on, come here for a second, Rudy, because I want to I 
show you guys this. I think this is important. So same thing, we do have the traditional tile, which is uh, cast iron in very, very good, good condition. I don't know if they reglazed this thing, but they did a really good job. This actually goes all the way through. We got uh, double basin sinks here as well. We have a storage in the center. Then we're gonna head back down this way. So we have the two bedrooms. Yep. You wanna show me the two bedrooms real sure. quick here? So the both, all the bedrooms actually can co accommodate very large pieces okay. of furniture. So if you have multiple families staying with you, or if you, um, you know, if your family members like to have a lot of things, these rooms can accommodate okay. that. So here is another bedroom. It's probably the same size, king size bed here, mm -hmm. very large again, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we have our own private bath. The concept is pretty much all the same as far as cast iron sink, uh, granite with the bull nose. The cabinets are a little bit different colors. Some of them are more like gray, some of them are more like a, a darker blue. I'm a little bit colorblind, so I'm not too sure. We're gonna have to go back and revise this video. Here, same thing with the tub, original tub, um, cast iron, and then we have cladding all the way to the top. This is fun. They have this set up for when they have visitors. Again, walk-in closet. All the televisions also remain with the home, which is a nice feature. So there's not going to be anyone wondering where to hang it or how to cover up holes. The televisions mm -hmm. do remain with the home. Now, th this home honestly reminds me of a, a family home where it's Christmas time. <laughs> you bring the whole family. Sure. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. You've got like 50 people coming sure. over. Like yeah. you've got bunk beds. Yeah. Like everybody's just having fun, Absolutely. celebrating Christmas yeah. as a family. This is a fun feature. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's what a is laundry, this? It's a laundry chute. Oh, guys, yes. you know what the kids are doing. So whoever buys this, okay, make sure your kids do not play with this. Okay, this is dangerous, guys. So this is kind of like the nursery? You know, they have this one set up for the younger um, okay. people in their family, but it still can accommodate a king-size bed if they put it underneath the window or on a couple of different walls. Plenty of room also to have a sitting area. I love how they have even built-in storage here, mm -hmm. as well as a walk-in closet. Now, some of these uh, furniture, is it negotiated in the well, price, or how does I, that you, work? You and I both know. I mean, it's, if someone is attached to something, they can write that on an offer, and okay. of course, my clients will consider it. Got it. Mm -hmm. I actually want this chair, so to make sure to add this chair to as well. We have a game room already, but yes. this is like another game room. So again, this is like for your family, yes. like all the kids. <laughs> Think about this, 20 kids in here just playing. <laughs> and having fun while the adults are downstairs, mm -hmm. right, drinking wine, right. enjoying the backyard, right? This is over the garage. Okay. So the little ones or the big adults can make as much noise as they want, and they're not gonna bother mm -hmm. anyone down below. Okay. Yeah, this could be a, you know, a movie theater if someone wanted. This could be a gym, a full operating gym if they needed to be. But the play space, the romper room as it see, sits right now is fantastic. My clients cut a wall into okay. some of this just so they have another little movie area okay. for the grandkids. And you can see um, on all the little peaks, there's doors, mm -hmm. little cubby holes for the kids to play in. But if this was used as um, a traditional space, mm -hmm. it's additional storage. Okay. So, I mean, we got a basketball thing here. <laughs> How good are you at basketball? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, let's give let's it a try shot. It. It's been a while. Now, if I make this, <laughs> you got to subscribe to the channel, okay? Here we go. Oh, oh, I guess I'm not that good. All right, if she makes it, you guys got to subscribe. Oh! oh. <laughs> cut, cut, <Let> cut. <laughs> we need to stick to real estate. I know. Yeah. This is just like crazy. It's pretty dope, though. Matter of fact, I got to take a picture with my girl right here. <laughs> when, you, when you come to Vegas, you got to be seen. You know so what I'm you can't be missed. Just imagine the amount of tables that you can get out here with, from a catering service and a rental company. You can entertain and host, I mean, 100, 100 plus people out here. And again, same stonework, it's great. It does have a pool security um, fencing around okay. um, for little per people as well as animals. Um, we do have the artificial turf, which is great for pets, um, as well as family members and a putting green. Nice. You gotta stay sharp, you gotta yes. keep your talents. And I love this little cobblestone that takes you all the way back to that side there. Very kind of an English yeah. countryside, going back to that Tudor influence of the home. Um, but yes, kind of wandering paths. Um, and then back here we have, let's see here, we have one AC housed back here. Okay. And then we come over here to the fire pit. And I really like how they have concealed the AC unit mm -hmm. for here. 
and there's another um, couple of units on this side as well. So I do want to mention uh, the AC unit, that's a Bryant, that's a 16 sear, so that means it's very efficient. It is the R20, uh, I'm sorry, it's actually the uh, 410A, not the R22, so if something goes wrong, it's not going to cost you that much to replace it, you just fix it. Okay. And remember how we talked about how there is a almost a, a pull through driveway okay. scenario. This is out uh, access to that area as well. Oh, perfect. And again, if you're having um, a party, a vendor could mm -hmm. pull their their truck, their trailer, their van right up here and and, and prep this whole area. Okay, Kristen, this is beautiful. I mean, yeah. like you got to come here and take a look at this. <laughs> I know, I know. I've been doing this for 15 years, and honest to goodness, this house is truly one of my favorites. Uh, just because it has such a warm, inviting feeling. I mean, I, I, I probably should get my family plus another and another and another to move in with us to take up all this space. This is beautiful. It just really feels like home to me. I, yeah. I don't know what it yeah. is about it, but it feels like home. Mm -hmm. We have an outdoor space here. It does have a grill, a refrigerator, TV. This is the only fireplace in the home. It's outside. Wow, interesting. I know. Watch your step here. And is this a gas fireplace here? It is. Okay. It is a gas fireplace here, gas grill, and I love the amount of bar uh, seating here, but this, this is great. Is that a pool bathroom? It's a three-quarter bathroom. Oh my gosh, you yeah. need to have this. I don't know why some of these luxury homes do not have this. This is a step above everything else. If yes. you have guests, little people, adults, it doesn't matter who's here. They need to wash their hands. They need to step inside. They never have to go inside and mess up the floors. They can rinse off the chlorine here and go about their business. Essentially, so, you can stay out here all day long. I love the fact that this, the greenery is all against the wall, kind of conceals the block wall. Now, I do like what they did here for a couple of reasons. Number one, you have the gate, you got the vegetation, mm -hmm. you got the cobblestone. Then, typically, what you'll notice, a lot of owners will just take this retaining wall all the way up to here, but they pushed the retaining wall here about four feet and they added all rocks and trees mm -hmm. to give that custom look. Mm -hmm. I actually like this part right here, but this is something that came with the house at the time of the purchase, right? Uh, this, yes. We okay. actually, uh, the owners did put in the retaining wall to match in the back of the house. Okay. Um, just to kind of continue that line across. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then if we walk down this way, we mm -hmm. have a couple more AC units. Yes. Then we have that side access into the laundry, laundry room, room, correct? Yes. And then it also takes us to the garage. Yes. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we are located in Southern Highlands, yes. but also we are located in a guard gated community. Yes. So we have a massive plan yes. and also a, what we call a subdivision, mm -hmm. right? Or a sub. So what's the total fee for the HOAs? 575. 575? Yes. yes. Okay. And it seems like for the amenities, you get the guard. Yes. Okay, right. The CCNRs, mm -hmm. the parks. Yes. Uh, obviously the common areas, uh, roaming security. Am I missing anything else? No, not at all. Okay. Yeah. There is a little space between the walkway and the street, and that is also maintained by the HOA. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, how much is property taxes on something like this? Right now, currently, it's a little over $22,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if one of our viewers are very interested in purchasing this sure. home and would like to put down an earnest money sure. deposit, how much would that deposit be? This is a very, very reasonable, and mm -hmm. my clients are very reasonable people, and they're looking to sell the home. $100,000, that, that, is, that is what we are asking for the earnest money deposit. So bring me your clients. Mm -hmm. Bring uh, If any viewers are very interested, um, we're ready to go. Oh, wow. $100,000. Okay. So is there anything else that we may have missed that you should want to share with us about this home? I think it's just really important to articulate that this house is very large mm -hmm. on a large piece of land in the middle of the most beautiful community in the south part of Las Vegas. And I think the highlight is the fact that it is so close to everything. You know that everything is coming to Vegas. Yeah. Between the new teams that are coming here, um, the new train um, that's coming from Southern California to Nevada, we are within 15 to 20 minutes of all those special items. If we have clients that are moving here from California, we are very close to the 15 and we can get to and from a California very, very quickly. Okay. And uh, one more time, what is the asking price for this home today? 4700000 4700000 That is a little over $500 a square foot. I challenge any buyer in state or out of state to find a home this big on a lot this size with the specialty and custom quality that 30 Greenside offers. Okay. Now guys, if you guys want more information about this property, I'm gonna have a link in the description below. 
And also, if you want to set up an appointment, go ahead and contact us and we'll schedule that private showing. Also, remember how I told you guys earlier, uh, the beginning of this video of w the announcement that I was going to share with you guys? Look, if you guys actually purchase this home, reach on out to us. What I'm going to do, what I will personally do, right? Okay, I'm going to show you exactly how to get additional up to $80,000 on top of what we negotiate. If you want more information about that, give me a call and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. We're going to negotiate this deal and I'm going to give you all the way up to $80,000. There's a secret behind this. Give us a call today. Nice. Again, thank you so much. Thank I so really much. do appreciate your thank time. You. Other than that, you guys have a blessed day. Peace. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.